Hey Adventures, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for checking out our review here for the Jackery Explorer 300 solar generator as well as the Solar Saga 100. They're two separate things but they kind of go hand in hand. I'm gonna go check out each one separately and then we'll see how they work together. So let's start with the Explorer 300. Just to give you a little background about the company, Jackery is started in 2012 by a former Apple battery engineer. So it started in Silicon Valley and I think it's still based in the same area and so you know you're getting a pretty good product. The Jackery Explorer 300 is one of six models that you can get. They have the E160, E240, E300, which is the one that we have, the E500, the E1000, and the E1500. And those are just, you know, the capacity, the output however much you need. But this one is rated for 5.5 hours of char recharge time using the solar panel. And um, you can do four charges of a laptop, 30 charges of a smartphone, and 5.8 charges of a drone. And you know, if you have the bigger models, you can do like a mini fridge and just larger items like that. As for the solar panel, there are two different kinds. There's the 60 watt and the 100 watt. I have the 100, which is the bigger of the two. And this is enough to charge in Explorer 300. So inside the box you get the solar generator right here. You get the power pack, the neoprene power pack, and I made up that name. I don't know if it's called a power pack, but it comes with the uh, car charger thingamajobs as well as a wall charger. And finally you get the solar generator user manual, which is super important, as well as a couple stickers and I love me a good set of stickers. Right out of the box, the thing is pretty plug and play. It's this big, this is how big it is. This is the size of my head. I have a pretty small head, so comparatively, it's not that big. It's the thickness of it. It's not very heavy. I don't know actually how heavy it is. Let me go check. It's about 7.1 pounds, and the dimensions are 9.1 by 5.2 by 7.8 inches. Here are the inputs. So we were only using mainly one side of the thing, and right out of the bat, when I clicked it on, I had about a 40% charge already, so I was able to try it out. But on the front, it has an input for the power. So to recharge this thing, whether you're using the car charger or the solar panels or the um, wall charger, it has three different types of USB inputs, USB-C and then also the standard um, USB ports here. It has the AC input and it has um, a 110 volt and 300 watt. And then it has you know input for if you have something just with a car charger. And this is the display. Click this on and it gives you a little bit of LCD. And inside the LCD you have a percentage of how much battery is left as well as an input and output waters that you're using. Right now it's at zero zero because we're not plugging it in or charging it or anything like that. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, you have options on how you want to charge this depending on what's available to you. Um, you have the car charger that it comes with as well as the wall charger so this is for when you're you know coming from home you have a chance to charge it first but the cool thing is transition transition when you're out and about you can actually charge it using the solar panel and this thing is so freaking cool I've never had anything to do with solar before and so I'm excited that this is my first foray into solar panels as you can see it's, uh, it's pretty big Dimensions unfolded is 1220 by 535 by 20 millimeters and dimensions folded 610 by 535 by 35 millimeters and they also have a USB-A and a USB-C connection but let's just open it up. Look at this beauty. Oh yeah, this is almost as tall as me. So it has a cool magnetic catch here so that when you close it, um, it stays closed. Like if I go like this and we'll just open it on its own. It uses a little bit of force to open it up see the solar panels here and on the back is where they have a little pouch for the power cable for power cable and the cool thing is the output here I actually have a Apple lightning cable plugged in I was charging my phone earlier when I was trying to use it as well as a USB-C spot here. So this thing can be used to charge a, you know, obviously the Explorer 300, um, an iPhone, a tablet, and, um, you know, like a gaming device, like a Nintendo Switch. 
and this is actually a really big surprise to me. I didn't know that you could just use a solar panel on its own. You don't even need to plug this into the generator or anything to use it. And But you can plug in the generator and use the power from here depending on how much sun you get. So that's really cool. In the back they also have the two legs that open up so you can lean it up and face it towards the sky to get some power. Yeah. This is really cool. I kind of want to just leave this thing in my car so that I have you know, whenever, whenever I'm stranded somewhere and don't have any power source, I can just pull this guy out and recharge my phone. It'd be great for like a zombie apocalypse, um, something like that. But now that we've gone over kind of the specs and just checking out what's in the box, let's go out and just try it out. Okay, so that was pretty cool, right? I mean, it was super straightforward. I hadn't, that was the first time ever really trying it. Um, it didn't take much to try to figure it out. I was able to pull it up, you know, lay it out, face it towards the sun, and plug it into my Jackery. And as you saw, the blue light turns on, that means it's charging, um, super straightforward. And I also tried plugging in my cell phone using the um, little output on the actual solar panel. Yeah, so it's really easy to use and really useful for a lot of different situations. For me personally, I know I'm gonna use it for you know those glamping trips, um, whether we're going out and just going fishing or something, or it'll be really useful for when I'm going out on a shoot, I'm gonna running around the city, and I just don't have an opportunity to stop by somewhere. Having this Jackery um, solar generator and the solar panel, it will be so useful to have options to recharge my cell phone, my laptop, my tablet, my camera batteries, everything that I'll ever need. But let me know in the comments below if you guys have one of these, um, if they're super useful to you, which one you have, and if you don't have one, which model would you get and what do you think you'll be using it for? Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys subscribe and check out some of our other videos. And we're going to be getting more items, I promise. I know I haven't been super on top of doing these videos but I have a couple bags coming in and I have a couple ideas for some other fun videos that we'll be doing so be sure to stay tuned thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time